Hey guys, it's Andrew, and welcome back to my kitchen. Featuring me, Andrew, doing things. So, global warming. Am I right? It's 80 degrees in February. Hot. I want ice cream. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to teach you what a verb is. <laughs> Like, bitch. <laughs> Stop cooking and get in the classroom. <laughs> Hello, it's really hot outside. I would like some ice cream. Uh, I'm just gonna use it first. So, you may notice I'm wearing a gray shirt and my hair is a little messy. I don't have a, like a reason or an excuse. You may also notice that I'm puffy, but I have a reason for that. Last night I had a wine and salad night with my girlies. Being one of your girlies that was in attendance, that is such a sad way of describing last night. <laughs> we had a blast. Anyways, now we're here. So it's getting hot outside. And you want to know what one of my favorite treats as a kid was when I was getting hot outside was? Hold on. God damn it. Okay. Maybe I should. Maybe like. Go back to high school. <laughs> Literally behind the camera trying not to make my laughing too loud. <laughs> so, <laughs> I wish I remembered the sentence you just said. <laughs> Hated that. I think you should just basically be like, basically, this is what I'm making. Basically guys, you know, I cook things. And today I'm cooking something else. Let me just tell you what the thing is. We don't know, need like an artsy introduction. Okay, I make videos. I needed to make a video. I wanted to do this. That's why we're here. I didn't enjoy this as a child. Um, I don't even know if I've ever had one. It just looks good. <laughs> <laughs> crying. There are tears in my eyes. <laughs> or maybe it's sweat. I'm not sure. Because it's so hot out. <laughs> It is hot though, it's like 80 degrees. It really is, it's in fucking February. February. Oh, I'm just thinking about, um, <laughs> well, like coronavirus, among other things. Okay. Just like, which is gonna come first? Anyways, okay, vegan Snickers ice cream bars. Basically what's going on here is you have like a sea salt caramel ice cream with caramel on top, or maybe it's just vanilla ice cream. Okay, I don't maybe I should have gotten one to see what it's like. <laughs> I don't think picture. you've stated what you're making. Oh, vegan Snickers ice cream bar. No? no? Say it in a sentence. Oh, say it in a sentence? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, what I'm trying to say is today we are making vegan Snickers ice cream bars. I wish you guys could have seen the late choreography in that. Missed out. <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. We got a picture. We got some brownish ice cream, so it's looking like a, a caramel ice cream, then caramel, then peanuts on top of the caramel, and then covered in chocolate. So we're gonna do that, but vegan. This is a recipe from Minimalist Baker. I've made the ice cream before. Um, super easy, super good, and so let's do it, and that's what we're doing today. Sorry about that sentence. I'll put the recipe in the description. I know I said that in the last video, and then I didn't, and I apologize for that. I will do it this time, I promise. Although I know you probably don't, you know, that I've lost your trust, I need to earn it back, I understand, I'll put it in the description. Yeah, so basically then, it's just a vanilla ice cream with a date, caramel swirl, and then we're gonna freeze that, then we're gonna cut it into bars, we're gonna put date caramel on top, put some peanuts on top, we're gonna melt some chocolate down, and then cover them, and then freeze them, and then bars! Vegan Snickers ice cream bars. Yum! Let's do it. So. Are you okay? I think I have a burp like just like chilling right here. And it's like. Jump coming. a little. Oh, I don't actually know if that does anything. Oh, I just, yeah, it didn't. Okay, great. Yeah. So the first step is just to put all the ice cream ingredients in the blender. Quite easy. Look at this extension cord. So prepared. Oops. What's this? Oh my god. Good god. Wow, this is like some Jimmy Fallon shit. I got it like all prepared. Like look, at, I got my stuff like already right there. Wow. <laughs> Alright guys, like good morning America. I'm like literally my channel. <laughs> like anybody who's doing a visual cooking component. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is like the standard. There's literally anyone else <laughs> making videos. <laughs> Hello, Alrighty, guys. See, this is why this channel is so fun. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> so the ice cream base is coconut milk. I'm using cream because I'm a thick bitch. Um, and soaked cashews. Um, and then just sweetens with this. Some vanilla, some salt, and the turner you go. No cow had to be forcefully inseminated for this delicious treat. Ah, that does put me in the mood. <laughs> First up, um, a cup and a half of soaked cashews. This was a cup and a half and then they kind of expanded or like they're floating a little bit. You can either soak them overnight or I just kind of like using hot water because then that makes it go a lot quicker. Also, if you have a vitamin, stop like this, then maybe you don't need to get it soaked as much if you have a, a high speed f thing, you know. Anyways, so don't mind the dishes in the sink, please. Re I remind you I had a salad and wine night. That's from the salad. I'm just rinsing them after soaking them because they were a little slimy and that made me feel weird. For this, I would recommend just using like cashew pizza pieces. Cashews are expensive. Let's just get the cheaper pieces since we're blending them up. Um, just your little bulk economist over here. Anyways, in the blender. And now a can of coconut cream or full fat coconut milk or if you're trying to be like skinty for the uh, summer, then you can use low fat. Don't know why that sentence took me so long to say. Okay. Three tablespoons of coconut oil. This is my coconut oil vat. Big fan. Did you get it on Amazon? I absolutely did. And I will Wait. absolutely leave a link in the description. What? Is that what you were going to say? Put it in an Amazon affiliate. And I will make two cents if you buy it. Thank you <laughs> for supporting your local Amazon associate. <laughs> Ew. I'm going to throw this in the microwave. All right. Uh, three tablespoons of melted coconut oil. Oh, I wasn't going. Oh, you weren't? No, I'm just kidding. Oh. Okay. Funny. <laughs> okay, and now a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm gonna use a tablespoon because guys, what are we doing? It's vanilla. It's like garlic. Just keep putting it in. Half cup of maple syrup. Just gonna wait. This, I guess I should could, could take the top the Great, fine. <laughs> okay, yeah. Real fun theme this video has. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> There's just so many options of what the theme is. <laughs> Guys, leave a comment down below what how, what word you would use to describe the theme of this. People are like, I would use words. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, so we just put in maple syrup. <laughs> so we just put in maple syrup and a little bit of salt. And that's it. Now we blend. I'm gonna add a little bit more vanilla and a little bit more salt. Maybe some turmeric? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gross. You make me laugh. <laughs> I make millions laugh. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> like, literally, what is in the air today? Coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. I like it. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna go put this in the freezer uh, to chill for about like 20, 30 minutes um, before we put it in the churner. And while we do that, I'm gonna make the date paste. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a uh, date caramel for both the caramel like top on top of the bar and also the caramel in the ice cream. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna do a pound. I'm just guessing. Wow. Uh, how are you? Hey guys. Oh, sorry. I'm getting you doing some of the oh. dates just in case you want like a B roll. Yeah. Now I'm gonna blend them. Uh oh. What is that noise? Did a thing get in there? Did you hear that? Yeah. It just sounded like dates going through a thing. Okay. I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. That's what it's looking like. We're getting there. A little bit of salt. Oh my god. Hello? Alright, there. We're done. How are you guys doing this week? Andrew, it's been like three weeks. What do you mean? We got the date caramel right there. Um, now, let's get the mixture and let's get the churning going. Time to churn. What time is it? 423. 
Already very exciting things happening. Okay, so this goes right here, and then the mixture goes inside. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Great. I think we did it. I think. Amazing. Turn about 45 minutes. Great. Now we wait. Cue the B-roll. It's not every day you see this. Fun! It's only been like 10 minutes, but already it's getting so thick. Oh my god. Damn! Wow. Science! Now we're going to uh, take it out, put it into here. Before we put it in the freezer, we're going to swirl in some caramel. Ooh, fun. Um, and then we're going to freeze it so we can cut it into bars to make vegan sticker ice cream bars out of. Oh my god. I'm not even going to lie. I'm like so excited to eat those. Guys, I think I'm in addition to bars, I'm also going to make like little square size ones for like a quick little treat at 2 p.m. maybe. <laughs> Bitch, it's gonna be a lot of a big treat at fucking 2 a.m. I mean, like... Oh my god. Okay, should we get like a close-up or... Mm. Oh! Oh my god, it is so rich. Oh my god, can you Venmo I... me? <laughs> Sorry, this is... No, that was fun. That, I liked it. I enjoyed hearing that joke. You, no, you really don't, we don't have to lie. <laughs> you told me not to. <gasps> okay. I don't know why that warranted that kind of a freak out, but... All good. <laughs> Oh my god, this fucking turner is so heavy. Okay. Uh, heard in the language, it was a moment of stress. Oh my god, this is gonna be so fun. Swirling in some caramel, what a time. Wow, I feel like an artisan. I feel like I'm like, like swirling shit. Like, fuck, that's when you know. Zooming in. Zooming back out. Sorry, I don't really have many anything to say. Just really taking it all in. I'm just gonna like flatten it. Get that smooth top, you know? All right, that looks incredibly flat. I did a great job. Uh, I'm accepting all compliments. All right, now I'm gonna cover it with aluminum foil. All right, got it nice and covered. Now I'm gonna put it in the freezer for like about an hour or two. I'll probably just like however long it takes. I'm about to help Chris film a video. Um, it's up now, go watch it. Anyways. See you after the break. <laughs> okay, hello, it's the next day. Here's the ice cream, let it harden overnight. It just was not getting hard. It took forever, um, and then it was midnight, so I went to bed. Wow, here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, before I cut these up into bars, I'm gonna start getting the chocolate melted, so just gonna cut it up and then put it in a double boiler. It's just water in a pan, and then you put a bowl on top, um, and then it's so the chocolate doesn't overheat. That's the end of that sentence. Okay, I'm gonna get that boiling. Now we're gonna chop up the chocolate. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Oh, there we go. Got some melting action. All right, I'm gonna keep an eye on that, but now we're gonna cut these. Oh my God. <sighs> oh my God. Okay. Oh my God. Wow, having a good time. Oh my God, saliva literally, did you? No, I was. I am so glad you didn't just see that. Like I'd say about a teaspoon of saliva just fell out of my mouth. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, so fun. Okay, I'm gonna. Breathe, Andrew. <laughs> the right thickness. Oh! Ah! Ah! Are you seeing that? Oh my god. Here, come get this. That's what it's looking like. I'm gonna throw some coconut oil in because that'll kind of make it harden faster when it touches the cold ice cream. We're gonna do that much. It'll kind of act like a, you know, like the magic shell shit. That's what the coconut oil make it do. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness. Once again, wish you could see the late choreography. Okay, I don't even know what to do. I'm like freaking out. Um, okay. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, 
right now we're spreading the date caramel onto the little rectangles. Oh my god, is that a pit? Oh my god, there was a pit! I knew I heard something. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that is what we are working with for the six that we will be making. Alright, now we press peanuts into it. Press some peanuts in. Wow. Fat and sugar together. An iconic combo. Oh my god, I can't wait to see like the chocolate on top of these nuts. It'll be all like lumpy. Alright, I'm loving it. That looks great. Okay, now I'm gonna do just a little bit of salt. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, I did not mean to do that. Oh my god. That's a lot of chocolate that I just spilled. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is a mess. Oh, god damn it. Oh. oh boy. Okay. Wow, I am sweating a lot. I am very excited. I'm gonna go put these in the freezer and I'll see you when I see you. Okay, they hardened back up. A little messed up. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, okay. I'm gonna try like a dip. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, was that a good technique? Maybe not. Um, the licking fingers. <laughs> I'm just stressed. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Maybe I'll just do three because honestly, we're running out of chocolate. All right. You know what, guys? We're running out of chocolate. It's all firming up. I think I'm gonna put these three back in the fridge. Don't know how we started with like 15 and ended up with three. All right. Now I'm gonna stick these in the freezer for like two seconds to harden back up. Snickers who? Okay, I don't have anything else to say. I'm very excited. I'm just gonna take a bite because that is what I would like to do. Oh my god. Bitch! Oh my god, do you see that? You seeing that? Hell yeah. You like that? Oh my god, that looks so good. And it tastes so good. I did so good. Oh my god. Wow, guys. And it's vegan in like six ingredients. We'd love to see it. Um, okay, I guess that's it. I think we did. Yeah, we made it and then we ate it. It's over. I'm gonna go, um, I don't know. I can already feel like the sugar like hitting. Uh, since I ran out of chocolate, but I still have more of the like bars, I honestly probably will make the squares and then make more of those. So if you wanna see what I do with that, make sure you go follow me on Instagram. I'm always doing food stuff on my stories and things, so follow it. And my other things, you know. Just a normal, just normal outro stuff, subscribe, uh, bell if you want. I mean, that's like crazy, but sure. Like, for sure, yeah. Oh, a comment, great, bye.